We're here at Lakeside Speedway, and I've caught up with Jason Rogers, and he's from Selden, Kansas. Uh, uh, tell us just a little bit about some of the home tracks that you run at and, uh, you know, how it goes out there. Uh, weekly, I run uh, RPM Speedway in Hayes, Kansas. Nice um, oh, yeah. Love the people. I mean, that's that's the best part of it. Yeah. Uh, then the other, pretty much kind of almost my hometown track would have to be Colby, Kansas. Um we run out there. We're about 20 miles from there. We used to race Oberlin until it got closed, but yeah. just uh, mainly just been racing IMCA. Uh, first time ever in USRA. First time ever running a four barrel. So. Yeah. And and how about half mile? You run on very. Of course, this isn't really a half mile. It's four tenths. But you run on many tracks this big. Uh, that's what I started out with. Uh, I mainly always just ran half miles when I started. Uh, 15 years ago, I used to run Norton, which was a half mile, and Stockton, it's a half mile. So the half mile tracks, the speed, it's nothing new. Yeah, nothing new, but them big sweeping corners. I mean, rather than little old tight corners you got on some of them little tracks, this has got to be, I, I know I've heard guys tell me, they say, man, you get in the corner and you keep thinking, well, I got to start turning more, but you don't. It's just a big sweeping corner. Well, this is real similar to about the same, well, it's got just a little bit more banking than uh, Thomas County Speedway Colby. So that's basically a setup we just put in it. So yeah. I think we're setting real good. I know out there in those tracks, I've been to uh, Joaquini, I've been to Hayes, I've been to Colby, I believe. Uh, I can't remember where they have that big IMCA race out there every year at the end of the year, but I've been out there. Those tracks are dry, man. This, I'm, I, It's probably not going to be real wet here, but you went out for hot laps. Of course, it would be different by the time the A main rolls around, but it, it pretty much what you got is a dry slick setup. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the only setup I runs for dry. Um, dry is, we kind of specialize in dry. Um, RPM Speedway's Hayes, where we have the Fall Nationals, uh, yeah. and I won that one last year. So wow, okay. And well, uh, you are one of the favorites, then. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll just see if we can make the show. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I'll try and give you a little hint. I'm here just almost every week. Seems like, depending upon how the track does, but most of the time down around the bottom for the May mains is where it's at. So some guy like Heater, he'll be up against the fence up there. I guarantee you, if there's anything up there. But there'll still be some moisture on the bottom, so you might think about that later on. Yeah, well, the bottom don't bother me too much. I'm getting a little old and don't like working on the car as much to run it right up next to the wall, so we might gravitate towards the bottom. Yeah. Okay, once again, Jason Rogers from Selden, Kansas, out by Colby. Come here to Lakeside Speedway tonight for this Gary Davis Super 66. 3,000 to win. Man, that'd be a nice paycheck to take back home. You guys could top it. Uh, one of the steakhouses on the way back get you a steak or something. Yeah, I might buy the crew a steak, and it might take that to pay for these tires. <laughs> Have some fun, man. Thank you. We will. We've got a guy from Colorado here tonight, and I'm going to try and get this name right. I'll read the shirt, and it says Angel Mendoz. But uh, you run on many tracks like Lakeside? Uh, somewhat, yeah. we got some bigger tracks back home. Um, uh, but we're IMCA, so we're this first time on this tire and this carburetor. Uh -huh. I was going to say that uh, you're not the only guy. I was talking to Rogers over here, and he's he's doing the same deal there from around Colby. But uh, where, where do you normally run out there? Just Lamar? Uh, no, we run uh, Dodge City, Colby. Uh, we we run weekly, roughly with him. Hayes, Kansas, is where we run mainly. Well, you've got a good drive every night, then, don't you? Getting down there, it sounds like about an hour and a half, two hours. Oh yeah, it's at about 150 miles of the nearest track I run at. Yeah. And how, how have you been doing out there? Did you do pretty good? Uh, right now, I mean, we we've won. Uh, we're seven in a row, and the last two races we've ran second. So, um, no, we fair would come try our luck down here, but I don't know. After hot laps, I don't know. We're just kind of scratching my head now. Well, the track will be totally different. If you're used to running a dry track, you'll probably like it later on because it will dry out. Especially, you know, we've got quite a few cars here tonight, way more stock cars than we normally have. We've only been having about 10 or 12 stock cars. So uh, it'll be dried out later on if that's what you're looking for. I was telling Rogers over there that that bottom side will still hold a little moisture down there. So you might remember that later on if you like to run the bottom. Yeah, well, we, we kind of just chase it wherever, wherever the groove's at. But, yeah, we like it dry. Yeah, okay. Once again, we got Angel Mendoz from Lamar. Lamar Colorado. Lamar, Colorado. Man, have some fun tonight here at Lakeside. We're really glad you drove all that way just to be with us. Thank you. Well, we've got a sort of local guy here. we got one from Topeka, Dominic Tipo, yes, and he's an IMCA racer also running up there at Heartland Park. Uh, I know you're used to a dry slick running up there. 
Yeah, we've, we've ran on dry slick a couple times. Heartland Park, uh, every once in a while, Thunder Hill goes dry, but not too often. Uh, Salina and Hayes, so we've, we've, we've done the dry slick stuff a couple times. Man, this is three guys in a row I've had that's been out there in central Kansas that run, come down here to Lakeside tonight. Have you run here before? Uh, we came out last Friday to kind of shake the car down since we had to, you know, put new tires on it and the four barrel and everything. So try to get it as close as we can and we'll see what we can do tonight. We've got a fast bunch here, especially that old Brett Heater over there. That guy can get around the top of this track. I'll tell you what, if there's any moisture up there later on, unless somebody else figures it out, man, that guy will be gone because he is really fast up on that top side. But anyway, uh, glad to come down to Lakeside tonight for this Gary Davis Super 66 here tonight. 3,000 to win. I'll tell you what, let's have some fun. What do you think? That's the idea. Have a little fun. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate it. No problem. It. We got a local guy here from Lakeside Speedway, Kevin Anderson. Uh, Kevin, uh, man, there's some talent come in here tonight, it looks like. It's pretty exciting. It's good to see some guys come in from somewhere else and get the chance to race with them and try to keep up. It's kind of fun. I was going to say, you don't have to spend a money, bunch of money going out of town to race with them. They're coming here, yeah. so that's a good deal. Plus, you guys know this track pretty good. Uh, I can't remember whether it was last year or the year before, except for that little wreck you had on the front straightaway. There's a good chance you might have won the points championship that year, but we got a different deal. You've been kind of trailing no heater this year a little bit. Uh, you've been able to make up any speed on this thing yet? We've been working hard on it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Trying everything from gears to tires to stagger with all kinds of stuff, so springs. But, um, you know, heater's fast, and he's got to figure it out. And, but great, give us a challenge, and then we're going to go after it. So, Like I say, you're a veteran. You've run here quite a bit. What might you be predicting there later on? Is it going to be up around the top or the bottom, or where will it be? Yeah, it's going to be around the top for sure. The only thing that might happen is the top might go away and it might come back a little bit towards the middle, maybe the bottom. But it's pretty slick, pretty dry, dusty down the bottom right now. So uh, pretty good moisture on the top. So we're running last, which is a lot of cars here. So that top might just go away and it might come back to being around the middle. So we'll see. You're in the fourth heat? Four, uh, third heat. Third heat front row inside. Well, Kevin, all I can say is, man, uh, this should be exciting. A lot of the times here at Lakeside, I'm probably going to, PO a bunch of guys here. <laughs> but a lot of the times, the best race at this track on a Friday night is the stock cars. I mean, yeah. most of the time, it's just so much fun. It's closer competition. It seems like nobody really runs away with it, all heaters. Yeah, lately. <laughs> <laughs> heaters kind of made it look that way this year a little bit, just pulling away from everybody. I mean, winning by half straightaway or a straightaway. But it, it's always the best race to watch, it seems like to me, on a Friday night. And uh, like I said, the competition level's got to just be out of sight. Yeah, it's, it's good to see, you know, 25, 30 cars here, and we have to compete to get in the race. And, and um, it's going to be fun. It's exciting for a change, you know. And, you know, you start, you get, you start getting eight or ten cars, and, you know, that excitement kind of goes away a little bit. So you get, this, you know, get your heart pumping, and it gets, it gets exciting. So we'll see that, how we do. That means Heater's got more cars to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's what he's trying to say, so you got a better shot at him. But, <laughs> but anyway, Kevin, let's have some fun. I'm like you, buddy. It's nice to see this many cars here, and uh, I'm looking forward to a good time. So have fun. Thank you. I appreciate it. We've got Trevor Hunt, last year's points champion in the USRA Stock Cars here at Lakeside. Trevor, what do you think about tonight, man? There's some talent here, and this is only your second time in the car. I'm really excited, man. You know, the car felt really good last week. We got it to the shop over the week, um, and we made a few. We fine-tuned it a little bit, made a few adjustments, and we're feeling good. car felt decent in hot laps, so we'll see what we can pull out for the heat race. You know, I wasn't here last week. I think you won, didn't you? We did. We picked up the win. was chasing heater, and he broke a motor. Um, so, like I said, we still we got a little bit of work to do on the car, but I think we got a good hot rod tonight. What do you think that track's going to be later? I mean, you've still been running a B mod here for the last year, or, or last year and part of this year. Is it going to be dry? Is it going to be anything around the top, the bottom? I think it's going to be real dry, um, seeing what it did in, in uh, hot laps there. Um, and it's going to be dominant on the top early, but it, it might wear out up there. We might have a pretty slick surface all the way around. I was going to say 30 laps for these stock cars, man. That's a few more than what you normally run so and you run in two classes I, I know you're a young guy so you're not gonna have to worry anything about fatigue or getting tired or anything like that oh I sure hope not <laughs> no but it's I think a lot of it's just gonna be the name of the game is gonna be save your tires I think there's gonna be a lot of people wearing their tires out early on yeah, I hadn't even really thought too much about that but I think you're right but once again this was last year's points champion here at Lakeside Speedway in the stock car class so if anybody knows how to get around here it's gonna be Trevor Plus, uh, he's got a pretty heavy foot. Man, have some fun. <laughs> Thank you, man. It's appreciate it. Well, we have caught up with the man.
here at Lakeside Speedway. Boy, uh, for the last couple of years, what, almost three years, Brett, I mean, man, you've been red hot out here. You and your dad have put together a real winning package. You got a Newman built car, if I remember right. I think I may have actually seen this thing on the jig when I was over there one day, and uh, they were telling me about how this was going to be your car for the next year, but you loved that old one so bad you didn't want to give it up. But anyway, for, like I say, two or three years, man, you've been the man here at Lakeside. Some competition coming in here tonight, man. Now, what do you think? Oh, uh, we're excited. Like, this is what we asked for. I mean, we're out here racing the guys that, you know, we idolized growing up and stuff. Uh our team's just thrilled it's awesome we couldn't this whole race that vicky's put on uh for gary is just it's overwhelming it's breathtaking and it's awesome uh, we can't thank her enough for what she's doing i was gonna say we really have to thank Lake, lakeside for putting together this gary davis super 66 because uh, it has really brought some of the best uh, stock car drivers uh, imca uh, usra uh, got a guy from colorado angel back there uh, a couple from out in western Kansas, uh, some from Iowa. I mean, how much better can you have it than to have those guys come to our track and, and race with one of our guys <laughs> that has really laid it down here for the last couple of years? Uh, what are you looking for in this race? I know it's quite a ways away, but what do you think the track's going to do? Boy, I mean, if that thing comes around where that high side is good, I'm saying, look out, guys, Brett's coming. Uh, yeah, we don't get the opportunity to run last uh, very often. Tonight we'll be running last, so uh, I'm sure it's going to be probably dry, top to bottom. Uh, probably be able to run the middle even tonight once the cushion goes completely away. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We'd like to get in the top five, ideally, with the guys that are here. We'll consider that a win and uh, count our blessings. But if we could win this deal, it would be awful special. There's a very nice trophy that I'd like to send home where it belongs with Miss Davis, uh, Gary's wife. Uh, uh, ultimately, that's the goal tonight. I want to give her that trophy. Special deal for her, for Vicky, and it, it would be a, a good deal, but, man, you got to go out there and do it first. <laughs> that's all I can say, Brett. But uh, I, if there's anybody here that can do it, I mean, as many laps as you've got around this track, golly, uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, the team you guys have got together, I mean, uh, I can't believe anybody's going to go out there with any better equip equipment than what you guys got. I guess one question might be is uh, how is that uh, cheater heater motor going to hold up later on? Going to be all there? Uh, yeah, this new piece, uh, we've won almost every race we've entered with it, so we're excited about that. We had a little transmission issue last week, but we think we got her dialed in. This NRT race car by Newman's, man, is not for sale. <laughs> it, this thing is a... It is a blast to drive. Yeah. And the guy that built it's just right across the pit from us. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. You probably can't. But the 222 and the Newman boys driving that one over there. So uh, can't count him out either. I'll tell you what, when he's on, he's faster than I'll get it. Yeah, he, they're all uh, – we couldn't be this fast in this if they didn't know what they were doing. So for sure, that's another guy to watch out for tonight. It's, uh, it's a good thing this guy's here to record it for everybody that's not here because you're going to miss a heck of a show. I think so. Like I told uh, somebody on the back straightaway there a while ago, to me, the best race on a lot of Friday nights here, stock cars. No doubt about it. But anyway, folks, I may be prejudiced, but here's my pick right here. Brett Heater, I don't know what else to say. I think he'll do it. If he gets any breaks, can qualify up front. I think you're starting on your front row of your heat race, so that's a good deal, too. Yes, sir. We uh, got a good draw. I'm fairly confident in our heat race. Uh, See if we can't go out there and get the, the first W of the night out of the way. Okay, folks. Gary Davis, Super 66, 3,000 to win, 30 laps. This is the guy. That's it. Bye. Tifo, Whitney Peeler, the first two rows. Here we go. Seavers, Tifo, they bring it down into that first turn. Brad Whitney on the low side in that X9. Tifo, your early race leader in the 27. Dominic Tifo. The nine of Brad Whitney in that second spot on the high side.
And then that 26 again of Blake Peeler, your top three, as they come back here on lap number two. Seavers in that four spot in the 12 machine. Seavers gets a little bit loose, goes to the high side, tries to fight back Tifo, still your race leader. Good battle for the top spot right now. Tifo as your leader. Brad Whitney, Peeler in the 26, your top three cars as they come down here into turns three and four. This will be lap number four as they come across this time. Now is your new race leader in the 26. Peeler fighting back into that second spot. Good battle up front. Tifo still trying as your race leader as they come across. The white flag comes out this time. Thought we were going eight. He brought a white flag out. Your race leader in the 26, uh, Blake Peeler, Blake Peeler, as your leader, Tifo still in that second spot. Third spot to Whitney, but here comes the 222. White flag comes out here on lap number seven. Again, Peeler, your leader coming into turn number four. As the white flag comes out, it's Blake Peeler in the 26. in here at Lakeside Speedway tonight. Here we go. Keeper is just not starting. Your leader, Trevor Hunt, in that top spot on lap number one. That'll be the 41 of Kiever in that second spot. McGinnis in the 17 in third. There's your top three. If Harwood works his way up, trying to battle for that fourth spot now. Problem with the 7J. Gets it restarted. Also, Barnes in the 19 pulls off into the infield as well. Two cars now off the off the pace here. Lap number three as they come across, but Trevor Hunt, your race leader. Kiever still in that second spot. McGinnis, Wawashuk in the 11, Harwood in the 72. There's your top five machine, Gene Stiegel as two cars had to pull off. Lap four as they come across halfway, this time halfway. Oh, and there goes the 31 of Trevor Hunt, goes up in smoke. The yellow will come out. Tough break there for Trevor Hunt in the 31. Uh, green flag goes, here we go. Kiever, still your lever. leader. McGinnis in that second spot. Wawashuk in the 11. 
followed by that 72 of Harward. Vernon Kiever looking strong here tonight in the 41. Still your race leader. Five laps completed, just three to go. Harward up into that third spot now as he starts to make the move to the front. Harward in the 72, the Iowa driver. Southern Iowa, oh, and McGinnis gets loose. Harward takes the advantage, goes to that low side. McGinnis tries to fight back on top. McGinnis getting loose as he goes around. White flag comes out. McGinnis still on the move. Let's see if the green flag, no, he looks like he comes to a complete stop. Again, Vernon Kiever as your leader. Harward up into that second spot. The 11 of Wawasek and Stiegel. So the 41K, put your hands together for Vernon Kiever. Mike Harward in that second spot, the Southern Iowa driver. And the, here we go, eight laps. Heater on the move in that top spot. Anderson in the 417 up into the second position now. Oh, and several cars get together back on the backside. Holcomb and Hensler. Holcomb in that 46, Hensler in the 8. Green flag flies, Terry Wantlin. Let's see if Anderson has anything for the 05 of Heater. Donaldson now challenging for that third spot. Here comes Staley in the 14. But your leader here. On lap number two is the 05 of Heater. So Heater, Anderson, Conley, Donaldson, Staley into the backside of the 28 of Donaldson, Fogarty in the T2 and the 8 of Hensler as your leader comes across the 05. Five laps remain. Brett Heater, seven feature wins as Staley in the 14 pulls off into the infield. Problem on that car. Heater now on lap number four. The T2 of Tom Fogarty moves up into that fifth spot. Looks like a little smoke coming off, maybe the 14 of Staley on the infield. Heater on lap number five, still your leader as he pulls away from the field. Good battle back here with Hensler and the T2 of Fogarty. A little bit of smoke coming off of Hensler now in the eight. This will be lap six with just two remaining. Brett Heater in that 05. Anderson in the 417 in the second spot. Lucas Conley, Gary Donaldson in the 28. Tom Fogarty in the T2, the 8 of Dean Hensler. White flag will come out this time across for the 05 of Brett. Heater, white flag flies from Terry Watlin. One to go. Donaldson now comes to the low side out of turn. 
number four. See if he can make something work down there. But your winner, as he comes down into turns three and four, it will be the 05 of Brett Heater. The 417 of Anderson in that second spot. Battle here for third as Conley in that 17 hangs on. The 28 of Danderson, the T2 of Fogarty, and the 8 of Dean Hensler. So your winner, the 05 of Brett Heater, the second spot, the 417 of Kevin Anderson, and in third, it's the 17 C of Lucas Conley. Green flag, uh-oh, here we go. As Thornton makes the jump to the low side, slides all the way up to the top. Munoz in that two car, side by side, coming out of turn number two. Munoz in that two car, but it's Ricky Thornton as your race leader in that top spot. Munoz takes the second spot as Christopher Smith almost gets up into the wall. Oxford in the 27 goes around, gets hung up high in turn number two. That might bring out the yellow flag. Or here we go. Thornton in the 20, J. Munoz hangs on to that second spot as Smith gets loose. Thornton as your race leader. Munoz in that second spot, the 37 of Rogers in third. Ingram in that 54 will be the one of Christopher Smith. This will be halfway this time for your race leader, Ricky Thornton Jr. running three different classes tonight. Also in the B mod and his USRA A mod as well. Battle now for the second spot, the 37 of Rogers side by side. Rogers now takes that spot away from Munoz. Munoz now goes low and turns three and four, see if it can fight back. Munoz now to the low side in four. Rogers in that second position. Munoz in that third spot. Ingram in the 54 and the one of Christopher Smith. Five laps down, just three remain as they come across this time. Ricky Thornton Jr. pulling away from the field in the Mike Tanner Racing, number 20, J. Jer Jason Rogers all the way from Iowa. I'm sorry, from Kansas, the IMCA car. Munoz from Colorado in that third spot as the white flag comes out. Smith. Moves up a spot. And your winner. Final heat race tonight. It's the 20J of Ricky Thornton Jr. That's the 37 of Jason Rogers and the two of Angel Munoz. Good battle for this final position. And Christopher Smith. So your top three. Again, the 20J of Ricky Thornton Jr., the 37 of Jason Rogers, and the 2M of Angel Munoz will be the 26L of Blake Peeler. Outside of him will be the 20J of Ricky Thornton Jr. Row 2 should be the 41K of Vernon Kiever and the 05 of Brett Heater. Row 3, the 72 of Mark Harward and the 37 of Jason Rogers.
Row four, the 27X of Dominic Tifu, and the 417 of Kevin Anderson. Row five, the 222 of Jake Newman, and the S20 of Gene Stiegel. Row six, the X9 of Brad Whitney, and the 11W of Gerald Wallachuk. Row seven, the 17C of Lucas Connolly, and the 2M of Angel Munoz. Row eight, the one of Christopher Smith, and the T2 of Tom Fogarty. Row nine, the, the 54 of Eddie Ingram, and the eight of Dean Hensler. Row 10 will be the 28 of Tobin Barton, and the 12S of Dustin Sievers. Row 11 is the 7J of Scott Herrick, and the 98 of Richard Jamison. And row 10, the 28D of Gary Donaldson and the 27 of David Oxford. in a row, we will see. All right, the field is set. Ricky Thornton on the front row. Here we go, out of turn number four. Here we go. So Peeler and Thornton, Heater goes to the high side, gets a good run up there, gets right in behind Thornton. Here comes the 05 of Heat, Heater. Jamison in the 95 spins in turn number one, but back to the front of the field as they come out of turn number four. Ricky Thornton on that high side. It'll be Heater in the 05. Lap number one. Again, Thornton in that top spot. The 05 of Heater in second. As the rest of the field kind of feathers out now. Good battle up front here so far. On lap number two, Thornton and Heater. In that third spot. As they move up into turns number three and four, good battle. As they start to feather out Jason Rogers in that 37 in the third spot. Tifo in the 27, the 417 of Anderson. There's your top five. So back to the front as they come out of turn number two. On lap number three. As Chris Smith slows down there in turn number four, but back to your leaders. Ricky Thornton leads them down. This will be lap number four. This time, Heater still in the second spot. Anderson in the 417 in fourth. Rogers at 37 in the third position. Lap number five as they come across. Ricky Thornton, nice and smooth. A lot of guys on the high side right now. Heater tries to get a nose in. Comes, comes down the back stretch into turns three and four. Brett Heater. Thornton still has a good run on the high side, though. Thornton still your leader. That's in the Tanner Racing number 20 car. Peter right on his tail. Rogers, Jason Rogers, IMCA car, and that third spot, Anderson in the 417. Followed by Peeler now. Up into that fifth spot. Still a good battle up front in your top five so far. Behind there. Angel Munoz in the number two. But back to your leaders as they come down the front stretch. Lap number eight out of 30. We'll see who can save the tires today. 
Racing on the river's edge here at Lakeside Speedway. The Gary Davis Super 66 Stock Car Special. Thornton and Heater, your top two. Rogers and Anderson, and then the battle's back here. Peeler, Munoz. Conley in the 17. But back to your leaders as they come out of turn number four. I believe this is lap 10 out of 30. Heater now, oh, as the two cars get together, Heater gets into the 20 of Ricky Thornton as they go around on the front side. That brings out the first yellow. They got into lap traffic, and as they started to slow down, the 20 of Thornton tried to turn in, and the 05 of Heater got into him. We'll see what the official call is. But they had to slow down as they got into that lap traffic on the front. Again, the 37 of Jason Rogers will lead him down. Again, 10 laps completed. Here comes Munoz into two, the 417 of Anderson up into that second spot now. Anderson with a good run down into turns three and four. He goes high side. Peeler in the 26th up into that third spot. Munoz in the two. He'll be in that fourth position. Whitney, Brad Whitney, and the nine. Down on the low side, it's Lucas Conley in the 17C. So there's your top five right now. Yellow, Yellow flag comes out. Debris high in turn number four as your race leaders come down to the yellow flag. Oxford again. Jason Rogers will lead him down here. 12 laps completed. Peeler and Anderson just behind him. Here we go, green flag. As they dive down into turns one and two, Peeler gets a good run on that low side. Here comes Anderson, still in that second spot. Munoz gets loose on the back side, hangs on to it. That could have been disaster on that backside in front of the field. But your leader come down through that front. Rogers, Anderson, Peeler. Here comes the 17 of Lucas Conley now. Conley up into that fourth spot. Okay, Anderson, your new race leader as he comes out of turn number four. Gets by the 37 of Rogers. Anderson, your new race leader, but look out. Here comes Thornton all the way back up into that fourth spot as we th have three cars get together here. In turn number two, that brings out a yellow. That's the 28 of Tobin Bartlett. Gene Stiegel in the J20, S20. And the 11 of Wawashuk in turn number two as those three. Rogers, Peeler, Thornton working his all the way back up through the field. Heater back up to seventh. Here we go.
Anderson dives down. Kevin Anderson dives down low. Here comes Thornton on the low side. Trying to make it happen. He works his way up into third now. So Anderson, Rogers, Thornton. Thornton battles down low and turns three and four. Everybody else pretty much on the high side. Heater out, also going low. Anderson, your race leader gets loose up into the wall but hangs on to it. Thornton now side by side for second with Rogers. Thornton gets a good run down there on the low side. He slides up into that second spot. Ricky Thornton all the way back up into second now, but Rogers fights back on that spot. Anderson, Thornton, Rogers, Peeler, and the 05 of Heater now up into fifth. Good battle up front here, and Thornton takes that second spot away. He comes down with the race lead. So will Thornton have anything left for Anderson? Kevin Anderson, your race leader. This will be lap number 19 this time across. Anderson, your leader, brings him down the front stretch. Thornton still in that second spot. Rogers, Peeler, Heater, your top five. Brad Whitney, the 17 of Lucas Conley, Munoz in the two. The 54 of Eddie Ingram. Eddie Ingram with a good run out of the B main. But Anderson brings him down the front stretch. This will be lap 20. Does 10 remain? Ricky Thornton. Trying to figure a way around. Rogers, here comes Heater now on the low side. He works his way up into the fourth spot. So, Brett Heater up into fourth now, but Anderson now starting to, a little bit, starting to pull away from the field here. Thornton might be trying to save some tires right for the end. We'll just see what happens as now Heater Challenges for that third spot now with that 37 car of Jason Rogers. Rogers, but Anderson still your race leader. Yellow, yellow, yellow out. Up, up yellow out on the top of turn one and two. Scott Herrick comes to a stop up here. All right, green flag flies. And here comes Thornton down to the low side. Let's see what happens here. Anderson trying to make a run on the high side. They come out side by side at turn number two. Anderson, still your leader. Thornton, though, does the low side again coming out. He slides up in front. Anderson slides back and reaches up into that top spot. Here comes Heater up into the third spot now. Anderson, Thornton, and Heater, your top three. Good battle up front. Thornton trying to use that low side, slides up in front of Anderson. Anderson takes it and goes to the low side again. Anderson, still your race leader. Anderson, Thornton, and Heater, your top three. Rogers and now Thornton again goes side by side. This will be lap 24. Does Heater have anything left now? Heater now gets in below the 20 of Thornton, but still Anderson, your race leader. Here comes Brett Heater now on lap number 24. Heater now tries to go to the low side with Thornton on the high. That meanwhile, Anderson starts to pull away from the field here. There'll be five to go this time across as now Heater works his way back up to the top, almost slides into the wall. Your race leader, Anderson, Kevin Anderson, the 05 of Heater, the 20 of Ricky Thornton. Rogers, Peeler, there's your top five. This will be lap 26, just four to go when they come back. Will Heater have anything left? Will he be able to work his way to the top? Anderson is your leader, but here comes Brett Heater. 
as he closes the gap high in turn number one and two. Heater Thornton just kind of hanging back to see what's going to happen here. Here comes Brett Heater down the back stretch. He gets down in below Anderson. He slides up in turn number four, but here comes Anderson again on the low side. It's Brett Heater, your new race leader. Three to go. Brett Heater back up to the top of the field after he had to go tail back all the way. Anderson up into that second spot. Ricky Thornton in third in the 20 car. What a battle. What a race for Brett Heater. Had to go tail back on the field. Lap 28, just two to go as they come by this time. It's Brett Heater. It's Anderson. It's Thornton. It's Rogers in the 27 peeler. Brad Whitney just behind them. Brett Heater goes into turn number four with the lead as the white flag comes out on lap 29. Anderson, Thornton, your top three. Will Heater have enough to hang on here? We'll see what happens. Brett Heater. After a spin goes tail end on the field, fights his way back up through the field. Your winner tonight, Brad Heater in the 05. It's Kevin Anderson, Ricky Thornton in third. Rogers in the fourth spot, Peeler in fifth. Brad Whitley followed by the 17 of Lucas Connolly, the eight of Dean Hensler, the 54 of Ingram. What a race here tonight. It's the 05 of Brett Heater, your winner tonight. What a race you have witnessed here tonight at Lakeside Speed Bay Speedway. How about that racing on the river's edge here tonight at Lakeside, fans? This will be a special celebration with Vicki Davis and the family as they come down. As he gets out, Brad Heater, your winner tonight! What a comeback after a lap 10 spin. He has to go to the tail of the field, works his way back up through, gets by Thornton and gets by Anderson at the end. Your winner tonight, look at that trophy, Brett Heater. Well, we caught up with Ricky Thornton Jr. And Ricky, what a night, man. I mean, first of all, you go out there and you clean up on them B mods and then you come back with the A mod. Man, you had a little harder time than that. And then this here stock car race with this heater kid, why that was some tough stuff out there. Oh yeah, uh, real good night. Like I said, we, uh, we picked up two wins, got a third. Uh, can't thank Mike Tanner for letting me uh, drive a stock car and his B mod. Um, we had a real fun night, yeah. Uh, me and uh, me and, me and Brad over there, we, had, we definitely had a good race. Uh, I mean, we got a little for flat uh, there early, but it's kind of more racing deal. Yeah. Uh, lap car kind of slowed down. We just kind of checked up. I mean, yeah. it's racing. Uh, 
we, luckily enough, we both be able to drive right back through the field. Um, congrats to him on his win. Uh, looking forward to next time. Yeah. Uh, I guess I was starting to figure this up. I figured you must have ran about 60 laps tonight, Dave Aids only. Uh, it was something like that. <laughs> I think it was like 15, 20, and 30. Yeah. So, it, uh, I, I'm ready for another 50, honestly. Uh, I have a blast. Probably one of my favorite racetracks here. Um, especially when it gets cushioned right up on the wall. Uh, yeah. Kind of, you got to drive hard, but you really hit your marks is probably the biggest thing. I was going to say, there couldn't have been two feet between that surface of the track up there and the, and the wall up there, especially in one, because it seemed, seemed like one or two, you guys even hit that thing a little bit when you are going through there. Oh, yeah. Uh, both corners, the cushion was the wall. Uh, it was pretty much, that's what you had to kind of straighten you back out, and that's what you did. Once again, Ricky here with a great night here at Lakeside Speedway for the Davis Super 66 stock car race. But anyway, he wins the A mods, wins the B mods, and third in the stock cars. Ricky, man, it's a pleasure to watch you drive. I mean, all three of those, why, well, man, you're on top of your game the whole time, really look good. And come back to Lakeside when you can, man. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be back. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. We've got the second place finisher, Kevin Anderson. Kevin, that was one fun race to watch. Man, I thought there for a while, I thought, man, Kevin's got this sucker locked up, and then them two guys started making their way up from the back. And even when they got up to second or third, I thought, no, Kevin, he's, man, he's coming off the corners good, but they caught you. <laughs> that last caution did me in, I think. I, I think I had enough cushion on him to be able to yeah. make it happen, but I kept looking up at the board, and I seen the numbers, and I'm like, oh, they're coming, they're coming, uh -huh. and uh, I just tried to stay smooth, but... Um, but the caution, I think, did me in, and then the uh, car just kept getting a little looser each lap, and I yeah. couldn't quite get back to the gas when I wanted. And uh -huh. if I didn't really get it just right and come off straight, then the thing would get loose, and I'd have to wait and wait and wait on the gas. So yeah. it was uh, it was a fun race. It was challenging. Uh, you know, uh, Thornton coming in underneath and sliding and coming crossing over, and it yeah. was it was a good time. It was yeah. probably the most fun I've ever had in a stock car. So yeah. How much room was there actually? in that cushion between the walls it looked like one and two there was practically nothing yeah, it was you know what it was was the cushion was just big enough that you could just hit it and you could just keep you wouldn't you wouldn't hit the wall so you know it might have been six inches but it was big it was a big tall six inches so <laughs> it you know it just kept you it just kept you off the wall otherwise i i don't know how you'd stay off of it so well once i hit it and it took the bumper off so, <laughs> so it was it was definitely close we were close to it so well Close, but not quite, but still a great race. Uh, like I say, uh, for video and for the fans here tonight, I'm sure they really enjoyed it. I know it probably one of the best stock car races I've ever seen. But, Kevin, next time, man. Well, I appreciate that, and I want to I want to say thanks to the Davis family, and, and it's really awesome that they've done this, you know, for us and bring guys in so we can race, yeah. you know, and, and put some big money up. And, and I want to I say I appreciate, appreciate them. So, um, And then i got to thank family and, and um, mom and dad and, wife and kids and uh aunt and uncles john and karen i mean everybody that helps me every week you know it's it's pretty crazy how much time and effort this thing takes and without the dedication from everybody it, it wouldn't happen so like i say it takes a village it does take a village thank you <laughs> thanks a lot Kevin. appreciate it well i hate to say i picked the winner but i picked the winner <laughs> brett uh you made it a little tough on yourself however i hate to uh go on officials calls but that's what they called, so that's what it is. But both you and uh, Ricky Thornton Jr. had to go to the back. But like I say, it made it just a little bit tougher on you, but you still got it done. Yeah, that was uh, that was crazy out there. I mean, I'm honored to get to race with Ricky. It sucked that happened. Uh, lap car got crossed up in front of us. He dumped. He got on the brakes. I got on the binders, and we just got locked together. And we both had to go to the back, but we rebounded and ended up racing for the the win still. And, uh, it was, you know, other than that, I mean, we raced clean, and it was good, hard race, and I think it was exactly what uh, we all predicted this race to be. You know, uh, Brett, as I've watched you over the years, I think one of the things that um, I appreciate is your patience. Because when you went to the back, I kept thinking, uh, I kept, well, I kept saying to myself, <laughs> I kept saying, Brett, just take it easy. If you get a, if you get a car lap, you can still get this thing. And sure enough, man, you, you did exactly that. And like I say, that's what I admire about you is your patience. You you don't dive in head first, but you take it the way out comes to you. Yeah, I actually had counted myself out. I mean, once we went to the back, I knew it, I felt like I'd be racing to try to get back to the top five. Uh, but as the race went on, guys would mess up in front of us, and we were able to scoot right by. And 
a late caution came out, and I think we were setting fourth, and I thought, well, I'll be darned. I think we still got a shot at this thing. Well, and I just talked to Kevin down there a while ago, and that's what he told me. He said, I felt like I had a big enough margin up until that yellow flag. And he said, Dad, would that put us all back together? He said, I was watching the scoreboard. He said, I knew they were there. He figured they were coming. Yeah, I was. Uh, I looked up there and seen Kevin was winning, and we were still kind of shuffled back a little bit. And I was like, well, cool. I would have liked to have seen a local win it if we weren't going to pull it off. And, you know, Kevin Anderson's my friend, so I would have been thrilled to see him win it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I would like seeing somebody from Lakeside do it, but but uh, all I can say is, man, that was one fun stock car race to watch, man. <laughs> you and Ricky coming back up through the field. Uh, I don't know how else to say it, Brett. Uh, great drive, man. Thank you. Uh, I can't wait to watch the tape. I mean, that has to be that has to be a cool race to watch. So I just want to thank you to my sponsors, my family, my friends, all the fans up there. Of course, the Davis family and Lakeside for putting this awesome show on. Uh, and RT race cars, big time bell bonds, Valvoline. We're getting her done. Okay, there's your winner, folks, for the Gary Davis Super 66, 3,000 to win stock car race at Lakeside. Bread heater. That's badass. I'm so glad we got the talk out of here. <laughs>